Um, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. So, Happy New Year. Happy 2023. Well, and I want to tell you, we came back from the store, and we got this Tennessee Apple whiskey with these two letters, which we're going to do in another whiskey review. Those are off camera, but those, will, those, will be, those are uh, single barrel Jack Daniels. We'll do those in the next video. So, this one, um, Tennessee Apple, interesting. Um, you know, my son recommended it. Just check it out. Let's see how it tastes. Ready? Before I uh, open, before I taste this, it's only seventy proof, so slight. It's it's thirty five percent alcohol by volume, slightly less than the normal forty. Um, let's see how it goes. It smells good. <laughs> So this smells like an Apple Jolly Rancher melted in a bottle of Jack Daniels. It smells quite good actually, <laughs> almost like candy. So. so yeah, just imagine regular Jack Daniels with a melted Apple Jolly Rancher in there. That's how it smells. So here we go. So. Mm. Oh, sorry, that's and my it, cat. <laughs> and it tastes exactly the same. It's like somebody melted a apple, an apple Jolly Rancher in a in a glass of Jack Daniels. It's actually not that bad. Um, the sweet. So okay. So on my palate, the the apple sweetness kind of seems to clash a little with the characteristic Jack Daniels taste. Um, let me try it again. So okay. I, I guess for somebody that likes um, sweetness, like if you like Jack Daniel's honey, you'll like this one. It's a little too sweet for my palate, but I'm thinking if you drink this neat with a splash of water or on the rocks, the dilution might tone down the sweetness a bit, but you know, just straight out of the bottle, it's good. Again, a little too sweet for my preference, but it is good. I'm not, you know, I don't, I would not drink it but like my one review for Gentleman Jack where it's a good introductory, this might be another one for somebody that prefers a sweeter drink, but it's not bad. Well, if you haven't watched last this video, this if you haven't watched last video, you might know this. So yeah, so our last video we reviewed Gentleman Jack where I did mention that it is a good starter whiskey and Again, for somebody that prefers something sweet, this is another good starter. It's a little less alcohol by volume than Gentleman Jack, and yeah, give this one a try. If you like sweet, again, not bad. Uh, this would probably be a good mixer. Make some kind of hot, toddy, cider type holiday drink thing. And also, if you kind of like apple juice and you like whiskey, this might be the perfect thing for you. Yes, it would be. So anyways, Something sweet, a little bit uh, weaker, on the rocks probably be good. Um, you know, I would drink, I would, to be honest, I would sip this by the fireplace on a cold winter day. Why not? And as a mixer, it could be fun to play with. We'll see. Maybe we'll make something. Who knows? Yeah. Anyways, uh, that's it for this one. Thank you. We will see you soon. Uh, next video, we will be reviewing two of the single barrels. Yep. It's like, um, it's right here. We'll review them in the next video, and and it's called it's for single barrel barrel proof and single barrel select. We'll be doing those in the next video. Thank you. We will see you soon.